Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kimberly Reed and I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna make this wig not look so like wiggish anymore. Like basically, I'm gonna customize it. This is a synthetic wig, so I'm just gonna try and make it look more realistic. Also, if you guys are interested in this wig, I do have a review. This wig is very super duper affordable. If you guys are interested in the full details, please check my description box down below. I'll have it linked. And also, if you watch this video to the end, it will also come up in my what, what to watch next. But I've already done my mesh cap method. So as you guys can see, I've already got the cap on. I haven't glued it down because obviously I wanted to show you guys how the wig looked before I did anything to it. You guys can see in the light how it looks. It looks very wiggish, right? I'm gonna obviously fix the parting because the parting is not long enough and it's not plucked enough for my liking either. But yeah, let's just get into the video. So I'm gonna put my wig onto my head. I'm gonna just try and line it up in the center. So now I'm just gonna pin, pin it down so that it doesn't like move from where I've placed it. Okay, so now that I have that pinned down, I'm just gonna comb it out. So yeah, now I'm just gonna part some more because it can go basically up to here and I don't think it's defined enough because like it basically like kind of stops there. So I'm gonna just try and part it out to be a bit more longer. Okay, so that's as far as it will go, which is quite good. Then basically I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try and do something that I know that is risque. But I'm gonna take a small amount like this and see if, okay, it works. I'm only taking a little section because I don't want to rip the lace. So I'm using the comb to part out the hair that I want to pluck out. And I'm literally taking a little bit because seriously, this will, the will rip. Like you see how, how much effort I'm putting into plucking it because it's really hard to just like pluck out. This is why I couldn't use the tweezers. So I'm just gonna go up to the front now. The front is a lot less because the front's already in a parting, but it's just making it more natural. Please take your time because if you end up plucking too much, you honestly cannot put it back. I actually want to leave these little strands at the front because I'm going to use those for baby hairs. But as far as the parting, I'm pretty much I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to move on to the baby hairs. Just brush this out of the way. And I'm just going to take my razor comb and just... I don't want to do it too um, short because by the way the reason why my lace is already cut off is because when i did my review but if this was going to be a straight customization i would have kept the lace on and cut it after i finished customizing it I do like when I wet it because it just stays. So I'm gonna do that again. But yeah, I'm gonna basically do the same exact thing to this side. This is how I've decided to leave my baby hairs. Yeah, didn't want it to be too much. And then now I can just take all the pins out because now I'm just gonna apply my powder to the inside. Seeing as we can't bleach the knots. So I've taken it off my mannequin head. I've got a, a powder here, which is like my color, and I've got my foundation brush. I'm just gonna put this all over the inside lace. Now that I've completely put 
put my powder on the inside. It looks like that. You guys can see. So hopefully that looks a lot more like scalp. So I literally just popped it on my head. And you guys can see my mesh cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm just basically fitting it again just to see where I need to cut. I've got quite a bit that I actually need to cut off. Okay, now the other side. Okay, so now I'm actually just going to take these out because you know what, I cannot get through this properly with them in, so let me just take these out. When it comes to detangling it, that's the most I'll do at this point. I'm going to be using my Got To Be Good spray only to get this on my head. But even though I don't, haven't done, I haven't fingered it down yet, doesn't that look really good already? Guys, I have never been on camera like this before. Okay, I need that to dry. I mean like, isn't this kind of cute? Who wants my number? <laughs> I put it right up my hairline. I'm just gonna hold it and see if it just doesn't decide to move. I'm gonna take my scarf majiggy thingy. So once I finally managed to completely detangle the hair, I am now going to straighten it. But let me just, I want to do a test if I could straighten it while powder has, is already on it. So I'm obviously going to test the back strand. Basically, yeah, I can. Okay. Now I'm going to just basically put the powder all over. Now I'll just take this off. I am now gonna just try my best and do some baby hairs. I am just gonna use my gel for this because honestly, yeah, this is just a lot. I'm only tucking one side because I like to tuck one side of my hair and leave one side like this. And there we have it guys. This is all of the hair that I've lost in terms of combing the hair out, detangling it, shedding some hair from when I cut the front, the um, frontal a bit to fit my head a bit better. Literally, I've got so much hair on me. This wig has a lot of hair, basically. You guys can see my hair a lot better over here. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look a lot more natural? Let me know if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did actually enjoy this video or if you guys think I did a good job. Also, subscribe to my channel because I have new videos on the way. When you subscribe, don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss out any new notifications from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video.